What's up YouTube, it's Jake here. I'm about to work out and then go to work, but first I wanna make a short video just telling you guys how to find your macros and how to count your macros because I know it can be overwhelming starting out in a fitness journey, not knowing where to even start, um, but diet is the most important thing, so that's what the video is gonna be about today. So in order to get our macros, first we have to know what macros are. Macros are macronutrients, and there are three different macronutrients. Technically four, but alcohol is pretty irrelevant. We have carbohydrates, protein, and fat. Now, one gram of carbs is four calories. One gram of protein is four calories as well. And then one gram of fat is nine calories. So there are a lot more calories per gram of fat than there are protein and carbs. So you could have a food with two grams of fat and then a food with only two grams of carbs but the one with two grams of fat is going to have a lot more calories in it because there are a lot more calories per gram of fat than there are per gram of carbs so how here's how we're going to make up our macros there are a lot of websites that you can use um here's one that i, that I found uh to be pretty good it's called IIFYM.com if it fits your macros. It's a macro calculator. So what it's going to do is it's going to ask you your age. So th this is all my information here. It's going to ask you your age, your height, your weight, your gender, your activity. I'm very active. If you have an active job or anything like that, um, it'll ask you your goals. Like if you want to lose weight, if you want to gain weight, um, anything like that, it'll ask you how many days of the week you exercise and your minutes per day exercising. So mine is gonna be uh, 45 minutes there. And um, how intense are your exercises? Uh, pretty intense, so you need more calories if you're working out more, if you're having intense exercise, stuff like that. So here's what it comes down to. My macros come out to seven or 1,976 calories. Um, we'll get to this deficit stuff in a little bit, but. Uh, the carbs are 247 grams, uh, 148 grams of protein, and 44 grams of fat. Now, you're probably wondering what all these percentages are and everything. And uh, these 4 calories per gram, 4 calories per gram, and 9 calories per gram are um, exactly what I went over on this note card right here. So anyway, I like to have 1 gram of protein per body fat, or, or for, per body weight, per pound of body weight. So... That's going to make up actually 30% of my calories right there. Um, your calories over here are going to be your 100%. And these three things are going to what are going to be what make up this right here. Now, um, I like to go lower on my fat. So 20% of my calories are going to be from my fat. And so once you do these two, whatever's left over is going to be your carbs right here. So 50% of my calories are going to be from carbs right here and that's how we're going to get these right here the percentage and everything now here we go with this deficit stuff so if you want to lose weight um you're going to get your when you do all of this information up here you're going to get a set amount of calories to function for your body to function normally and to just maintain its weight now if you want to lose weight you're going to have to deplete some of your calories you're gonna to have to go into a deficit so here's where this comes in so if you want to do some weight loss you take your calories which this is already down 25 percent but you're gonna take your calories my calories are probably about 2600 calories 2600 calories per day to function for my body just to function and everything and to maintain its weight so if I wanted to just lose some weight um at a slow and steady pace, I would take 15% of that and take it away. So my calories would go down by 15%, and that's what would be my daily macros per day. Now, if you want to get a little bit more weight loss here, you would go down by 20%, which is an aggressive approach. And then if you want the most weight loss, you would go down to 25% deficit, which would be kind of reckless. Um, not reckless in a bad way, but, but more of a you're going to be um, taking a lot down, losing weight faster, in a training a little bit harder. I wouldn't recommend going too much more than that because then it gets to a point to where it can actually hurt you rather than help you. You're not going to have any energy or anything like that. Now, so here are my macros. Let's go over a couple of examples on how to count your macros. So here are my daily macros. Let's say I wake up in the morning and I'm about to have breakfast. Well, hmm, let's see. What do I want for breakfast? Maybe I'm going to have a sandwich. 
Uh, it's going to be some bread, some ham, and some cheese, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the nutrition label on the bread. So here's our bread. So we're going to have two slices of bread, and it's going to have 70 calories per two slices, 16 grams of carbs, 5 grams of protein, and 0.5 grams of fat. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, and we're going to go 70, 16 grams of carbs, 5 grams of protein, and 0.5 grams of fat. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna subtract that. So that's that's the remaining. And then we have right here, shoot, I can't do math, guys. 231 left and 143, 43.5, okay? So bam, oh, guess what, we're not done. That's just the bread on our sandwich. Okay, so now you go over to the ham and you're gonna look at the ham nutritional label on the ham. So the ham is gonna have 70 calories per six slices. And actually, here's a good example here. I only put three slices per sandwich. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut each of these in half. Two point five. We'll just go ahead and go one gram of fat on that. So we're gonna add this to it. If we're gonna have one slice, or uh, if we're gonna have three slices of ham on our sandwich, we're gonna add that there. Um, so nineteen thirty-five. One gram of carbs. Five grams of protein down. One gram of fat down. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna subtract that. So we got one there. Two eight. Seven down now we're down to 1871 calories on the day, 230 grams of carbs, and we are down to 138 grams of protein and 42.5 grams of fat. Okay, now guess what? We still got to put cheese on our sandwich, so let's see. Go over to the nutrition label on your cheese and look what we have here. Per slice, we're gonna have 60 calories, two grams of carbs three grams of protein and four grams of fat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna uh, subtract those. So 60 right there, two grams of carbs, three grams of protein, four grams of fat. We're just gonna subtract. Boom, okay, look at this, guys. So these are our macros after we had a sandwich for breakfast. We did all the subtraction. The first line here is going to be our bread, then we got our ham here, and then our cheese here. And guess what, after one sandwich, we, it leaves us with 1,811 calories, 228 grams of carbs, 135 grams of protein, and 38.5 grams of fat. And you guys are just going to repeat that and repeat that all day as you eat. And you are, you're going to try to watch all these to make sure they stay um, kind of sort of sort of even to where they're all going down a little bit, a little bit to where you don't go too low on certain things and whatnot and you can clean. But that is going to be exactly how you count your macros and how you get your macros, guys. Thanks for watching.